everyone, James Mansell here with my drag daughter, Bright. Hello. I decided I think it'd be so fun if I gave you the Mansfield makeover. Yeah, I'm excited. Let's see what <laughs> happens. Because we don't really have a family resemblance, so I thought I'd force one upon you. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> First things first, I gotta glue down Bryce's eyebrows. You already know that's a process that I'm not willing to show anymore because it takes so long. So we'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we are back. And I got the brows covered in like record time. Yeah, so fast, so fast today. <laughs> I'm used to doing this on straight guys and it takes forever to do it. But mostly because like I don't think straight men know how to do anything with their eyebrows. Right, the, the grooming process for the eyebrow is probably like <laughs> cutting a field of grass. Oh, honey, like an overgrown field of grass <laughs> with rats living in it. I'm excited because I don't think I've ever seen you in different makeup before, so. No, uh, nobody's ever really done my makeup. Only one other person's ever done my makeup. How'd you like that? Um, It's relaxing. Yeah. I do like it. It's you like, dodged that question so fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's relaxing. No, it's just weird to see my face differently than what I'm like used to seeing when I do it. Oh yeah. And just like a different order than what I'm used to. I, like, we all have our aesthetics that we like. Yeah. Right. I'm excited to see what I look like. <laughs> I think it's going to be crazy. I've never painted such a rough canvas before. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> a brick wall. <laughs> you just said you painted straight men. Just yeah, kidding. I know. I'm practically a mural artist at this point. <laughs> like, imagine this is how like pageants are. It's like, close your mouth, honey. <laughs> Put your face on. Mom, I need my go-go juice. Oh my god, I wish I'd ordered some go-go juice not to lie. Oh my god. <laughs> to be completely real, like a Red Bull sounds amazing right now. Oh, a good Red Bull. Did you ever like read the cocktail of what it is they were giving those girls for like go-go juice? Oh, wasn't it like Mountain Dew Pixie Sticks and Red Bull? And Red Bull. That's actually why <laughs> they're like six in dance competitions <laughs> the parents do that for kids um we used to do pixie sticks but normally oh i don't know you're just there's such a different energy at dance competitions that, I bet. Like, you're napping and then all of a sudden you're on stage did you have like those abby lee miller types that were just like oh. you better dance or i'll put you in a pyramid in the garbage can um i did have a dance teacher who was um, a fierce Southern lady. I love her two bits, but she was a little intense. Yeah. Not Abby Lee intense at all. But she was, <laughs> uh, she was just, she knew what she wanted. Yeah. And she wanted, and she, she just wanted the it. best for us and it worked out. I mean, I'm very thankful for the training I got when I was with her. And You don't carry around any trauma, so that's good. No, not a lot. <laughs> not a lot from dance. Um, yeah, I did compete against Abby Lee Miller once though. Did you really? I did. I competed on Dance Moms at NYCDA. Um, we did our hip hop dance and originally the, uh, they were supposed to be competing against our routine, but they changed the rules of the competition the day of because our score got a, we got a perfect score, our routine. And so they moved us up to senior and they kept 17. Oh. So that was fun. So your team mopped the floor with Abby's team? We mopped it. <laughs> we let them have it. Just kidding. No, our hip hop team at my studio was really good. Like we always had really fun dances and... They, dare I say, we always won. Move this back a little. <laughs> my hairline. <laughs> Just kidding. Reveal my now orange hair that I tried to bleach. <laughs> <laughs> Don't dye your hair red and then bleach it. I've seen worse dye jobs. <laughs> oh, like how as supportive long as I was. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. As long as we brand Brad Mondo doesn't see it. <laughs> oh, don't worry. He's not watching this. <laughs> You just find that my makeup routine is just attacking a face with oversized brushes. And it's honestly so comfortable. <laughs> it feels right at home. Let's see, let's do contour, I think. Now, you do contour last. I do. <laughs> I do. I do it with powder after my creams and all that. I let, I let my eyes decide what shape my face is going to be. You know what? I like that you just... <laughs> <laughs> the eyes are the window to the contour. The eyes are the window to my entire face, I guess. And I love this because your face is so chiseled where I can just like put a contour thing right there and it's just like, wow. Right. Like, like everything. <laughs> there's like a pre pattern or what is it? It's like sketched out. <laughs> I also like, I can feel where you're putting my jaw contour and definitely that's going to be a takeaway. <laughs> <laughs> I think my face has changed forever now. It depends. Like if you have a very like angled face, you want to bring that out. Right. I always try to hide it away. That, I guess, instead of trying to work with it. Oh, no, because like when you have sharp features like that, it's like a supermodel. Like all the 90s supermodels had faces right. like that. It was all about like the sharp jaws and like eye makeup. The contour is my favorite part because it goes the fastest and it's always the same. <laughs> right. Like it never changes. 
It always makes me feel fierce afterwards. I feel like that's one of the parts that really, once I get my contour on, I'm like, okay, I'm here. Oh, she's she's arrived. <laughs> she's a woman. She's here. Eyes are where it can get kind of dodgy. You never mm. really know. Everyone's eyes are different. Yes. Do you have hooded eyes? Do I? I don't know. I don't really know what hooded eyes are. I mean, in drag makeup, no. no. You kind of take away the hood. That's what I tend to do, too. Yeah, I... I overdraw my crease to a point where like my natural crease is like right here and my eyeliner covers it. Right. <laughs> your eyeliner is your crease. <laughs> I don't know why I just stopped talking. Is it... <laughs> oh no, it's like I hit the off switch on you. It's crazy. <laughs> I said, focus, understood. You know what? That's okay. I appreciate that. Cause especially when it comes to like doing this inner corner, if you mess that up. Right. I'm like it's this. It's over with. <laughs> I think it's gonna be interesting to see how the final result because the way I paint is very like old school 90s drag. Right. So I'm interested to see what it looks on you, who's such a contemporary queen. Right, and just, I'm, I'm excited to see what it looks like with like my bone structure. I always love seeing when queens paint other people or other queens and stuff and just watching how like the other queens react to. Like it makes them like a full new character. Yeah, I only had a few queens paint me in the past. I remember the first time I let someone paint me that was a queen. Mm -hmm. She did me so dirty. She was shady. She, it was for a pageant. <laughs> Not for a pageant, too. Like, I was in someone's talent, and she is insistent, like, I'm going to paint your face. All right, oh, I really no. want to paint your face. And I'm <laughs> a baby queen at this time. And she was just like, you're going to look fierce. And she was so shady. She, like, <laughs> used every single shade that was not right for me. Oh. It looked like a brick for contour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate when they do you dirty. But, like... Honestly, it probably works on her face. And she was like, oh, just do what I do with me on you. Yeah, I didn't know. Like, we weren't, like, not, we weren't enemies or anything. So ah! I just think she just didn't know how to paint my face. Right. She <laughs> wanted to make an enemy. <laughs> she was looking for a fight. <laughs> she was looking for it. And, like, that's one of those things you, like, you eat. You're just like, it looks great. <laughs> I never look better. Thank you. Thank you. And I never took any of those tips home with me. I had look at me looking like, my eyebrow is so high right now. I know, I was like, whoa. My forehead's gonna be so petite. <laughs> I'm literally just trying to put like my kind of makeup on you. Like, I know you're not gonna look like me because we have way different faces. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> no, I think we're gonna be identical sisters. Nobody's gonna know who is gonna stunt next. <laughs> I'm literally just doing your makeup so you can be my stunt double. I just run out. Like watching you do this flip. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to do the eyebrows off camera and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, we are back. Now I have the eyes all done because it turned out to be a very intimate process. <laughs> <laughs> very close, very in each other's bubble. In each other's faces, <laughs> very that. Like, it's like whenever she's screaming in my face. Just <laughs> <laughs> so Bryce, in our last video, we talked about you being a dancer on All Stars 5. When you were there, did you get to meet Rue? I did get to meet Rue. All the dancers got to take pictures with him on the main stage, actually. And I don't it was, even have that. It was wild. I don't know where the picture is. I wish I could find it, but I know it's somewhere. I've seen it before. But... I fully have worked with RuPaul on multiple <laughs> projects and I've never gotten a picture with him that's not just a candid screenshot. <laughs> well, when we all look like pit crew boys, so, you know, he was probably like, let's oh, do this. See, that's probably why. <laughs> no, but I do remember walking up to him. He was like, I would hug all of you, but I have so much makeup on my body. And we were all in white. All of us. <laughs> so we were like, oh, that makes sense. But hearing his laugh backstage, it was like hearing Santa Claus's laugh. I was like, this is real. That this is, that's his... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> that was a great attempt, but. My favorite is when like she laughs and it sounds like she's losing air. But... <laughs> <laughs> that one's my favorite laugh too. Like you think she's gonna keel over any minute. <laughs> <laughs> so we share a friend, Justin. Yes. How did you meet him? So I met Justin on a dance contract. We were doing the Norwegian Pearl and uh, Legends and like Concert. Yes, we worked on cruise ships. Okay, forget Justin. You worked on cruise ships? <laughs> yes, I worked on cruise ships for five, five contracts, so like four years. What is that like? <laughs> That's wild. Like, it's like living in a tin can I bet, <laughs> with really ocean. good food. A tin can that could sink at any moment <laughs> if it hits an iceberg. For real, I did do a transatlantic crossing. So I went from um, Miami all the way over to Southampton in the UK. That was crazy. You see, if we ever, if you ever get a contract again, I'm gonna like make sure to have a movie night where like we just watch like the Poseidon Adventure. The Poseidon Adventure. We Poseidon, need to watch Titanic, Titanic. Just, to prep, <laughs> just in case. No, it's wild. So on cruise ships, you'd have to do a safety training. Um, and the Co Costa Concordia was a ship um, 
over in Italy that sank and they show like all like the all the ship sinking and like what happened and like take you through like all the safety procedures it's wild <laughs> like it's kind of makes me scared sometimes but it's almost like if you ever worked at a retail store they'll show you like the active shooter yes like videos and like they have a whole little scripted things it's like right they're like this shouldn't happen but just in case <laughs> and like they give you the things it's like you can either hide call for help or fight back i'm just right. like i'm not doing either of those things i'm <laughs> probably gonna be crying and passing out most likely me <laughs> <laughs> yeah so cruise ships are fun i've basically been to almost every continent except australia i have been to really? antarctica <laughs> but that's funny because i've been to australia <gasps> <gasps> oh it's my dream to go to australia one day it's the accent for me, I think. It's such a cool accent. Good eye, Mike. <laughs> I can't do it. Like, I try and it just sounds cockney. Cockney. Like, if I try and do it, like, I'm from Australia, it's, no, it sounds horrible. I'm from Australia. It's, yeah, it's kind of hard. <laughs> I think the only thing I can do is, we go to the movies. <laughs> we go to the movies. Cleo, get out of the water. <laughs> That's one, water. Nor. Nor they yeah. love to add an well, they say they don't add an R at the end of their O's, but, but they, they love do. to add an, an but, R but at you the end do. of those. <laughs> Where were we? Australia. Australia, <laughs> yeah. Never been to Australia, um, but have been to every other continent. Antarctica was beautiful. I was in Antarctica during the hottest day of the year for them. It was 68 degrees. <laughs> 68 degrees in Antarctica. Um, so if that doesn't tell you anything, <laughs> people actually live there, which still blows my mind <laughs> and penguins are real like no way i just saw i mean seeing penguins like actually swimming like in chili willy from the kids meals yes that, those are real things real things <laughs> they no. swim around penguins became my favorite animal I after that contract you, but okay <laughs> uh no they're so cute too the way they swim they just look so free they have no natural enemies how nice it must be to be them <laughs> <laughs> No natural enemies. It sounds like me. <laughs> uh huh. I just go to the wild, and I everyone loves me. <laughs> James is the penguin walking around the <laughs> walking around the wilderness. I mean, if I'm the penguin, I'm probably like the Danny DeVito penguin. That's what I am. <laughs> to be honest, we're being real. Are you not the Sandy? <laughs> oh, is that like happy feet? <laughs> no, I was I was taking it in degrees for some reason. Oh, that's. Funny. <laughs> oh, you never watch you never watch the Batman with Catwoman. No. <laughs> wow. Did I just get my drag card revoked? No, that's fine. Okay. You're, you're young. You're beautiful and you're young. You deserve the best in life. <laughs> no, but now I need to watch it. So that'll be on my to-do list tonight. <laughs> I mean, once you see Michelle Pfeiffer in that, you'll live. You'll get all the lives. Got you. She understands the assignment. Mm, that might have to be my next outfit. I do love Catwoman, though. Mm -hmm. Like, the pictures I've seen of her. Like, if you thought Anne Hathaway was cute as Catwoman, no. Ooh. Michelle Pfeiffer took it to a place. She's like the OG, isn't she? No. <laughs> no. I mean, no. there was Julie Newmar, who was I. And there was Eartha Kitt, who was like the gold standard. Okay. I guess Lee Merriweather too, but no one thinks of her. She was just in the made for TV movie. And then um, Michelle Pfeiffer, everything. And then Anna Hathaway. And then Anna Hathaway. Okay. Anna Hathaway, who cares? So we, we need Michelle Pfeiffer. Catwoman. <laughs> Every single time. All that fun story, when that movie was being cast, this actress named Sean Young was like really adamant about getting cast as Catwoman. And like she showed up on a talk show dressed as Catwoman to basically tell Tim Burton, you should cast me. Okay. Like, if you want the role, get the role, baby. Full Catwoman drag. <laughs> and she was just like <laughs> insulted. She was not considered for Catwoman. <laughs> okay. She said, look at me. Look at this. Look at the material. Oh, that's fierce. Okay. Now, I'm going to use a little bit of kimchi glitter on you. If you want to save 15% at Kimchi Chic Beauty, use my code, James Mansfield. I'm so good at you guys. <laughs> that's a really pretty glitter. Thank you. I like to take credit for it. Like, I made it, but I actually had nothing to do with the process of it. <laughs> oh, kimchi really knows what she's doing with makeup. Oh, yeah. It's in her face different every time. It is. And what cracks up on her makeup line is like everything has the stupidest names imaginable. Her foundation is called a really good foundation. <laughs> a really good foundation. The brush I use, a really good brush. I love that. <laughs> you know you know exactly what you're getting right from the title. <laughs> <laughs> 
she doesn't sell you short. There's no promise. It's not like, you know. It's just really good. The blend master. What the hell does that mean? You know? Did you grow up performing with Trixie? I did. Or not Trixie. Kimchi? Kimchi, yes, too. Um, She used to come to Milwaukee a few times. Because she was part of like a troupe in Chicago, like Shea Coulee, Pearl. Mm -hmm. All of them were like really setting off a movement in Chicago. So they came to Milwaukee quite a bit. And like we've done a couple parties. I think I only did one with kimchi. And that was like way before kimchi even looked like kimchi. Wow. <laughs> like the makeup wasn't fully realized yet. Wow. So still in the very beginning phases. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. Thinking of like, because kimchi now is like beat. Yeah. Be, be, way be. before she really figured out like what she was doing like it was like whoa <laughs> <laughs> i'm using june bug from trixie cosmetics on you juno birch x trixie mattel oh so you're getting stunning lipstick right now stunning stunning it's absolutely stunning darling what cracks up about juno is she actually talks like that <laughs> Oh, it's like her real voice. It's not a gimmick. That's how she talks. Like she calls everything stunning. I love it. Oh my that. god, it's stunning. <laughs> oh my god, that's stunning. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Let's see. I feel like I got just about everything there. We just need blush. 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 Any other finishing touches I decide to do occur off camera because that's just how I feel. So blush. Yes, they don't. Now I love blush. I didn't before, but I actually really adore it now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love it. I didn't realize what my face was missing until I started blushing more intensely. Yeah, it really just, it like, oh, the way it blends the contour and just everything together really makes me so happy. Like the way it looks like a Neapolitan ice cream. All right, I'm gonna do some finishing touches off camera and we'll be right back with the final. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the final result. Hello. Oh my God. The family <laughs> resemblance. Bryce hasn't saw how she looks yet. So, here we Ready go. Ready for the big reveal? Yeah. Oh, work. Oh, she's a woman. I feel like Lady Camden. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take work. it. Ready? <laughs> oh, now I get why you do this. Wow. I've never seen myself look like this. I think you I look love really the pretty. eye. Oh, and the eyebrow. The eyebrows do look really good. Yeah, I mean, oh! it is my face, but I just kind of think my makeup works on everyone. Right, very... Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> <I'm> such a... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm I'm shocked. I can't stop looking at myself. <laughs> this is crazy. I mean, it's wildly different from what you do, but I also think the makeup you do is really cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, <laughs> this is like very glam and very... Oh, I feel like I'm a pageant princess. Oh my gosh. That's, I feel beautiful. Well, that's the only goal I want is for you to feel pretty. <laughs> right. And I mean, there we go. There's the mother-daughter resemblance that everyone's been looking for. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. And this hair. Work. All of it. Oh my gosh. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, this has been a blast. And like, I always thank love doing you. these kind of makeup transformations because like... I don't know. I like I like putting my face on people. Right. And I'm I, a narcissist. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I learned so much too. Like just Thank so many you. different things and now I have more I can have more fun and do more things <laughs> with my face. So Bryce, where can people find you? Um everywhere at Bryce dot Hartley on Instagram and I think it's Bryce C Hartley on TikTok. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because you forgot that last time. I did. I forgot I had a TikTok. <laughs> I've been reminding her since, like, you have a TikTok. I have a TikTok. I'm going to start posting more on it. But, <laughs> yeah. I have to say, this is so much fun, but we have to get going because we are both starving. Our stomachs have been rumbling this whole time. So. Mm. Yes, I got to go eat some ice. Yeah, glamour works with an appetite. <laughs> now, this was the Mansfield makeover. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. bye. Don't talk to my daughter ever again. Now hit the outro. <laughs> Click here and watch me get ready at Warner Brothers Studios for Bob Hart's Abishola. Or see me try out the Trixie Cosmetics Nighttime Realness Palette. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll cut paper with your fabric scissors. So click it.